Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves, back again for another video. Um, yeah, I got the scraggles going on. I, I was just on vacation in Colorado on a snowboarding trip and uh, didn't bring my shaving gear, um, but it's okay. I got a lot of good razors and blades that'll mow it down, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, yeah, so this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now. Um, I've got a lot of soaps from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I've got eight of them, which I'm gonna be going over today. Um, and I'm just really happy to support PAA because uh, I think they're probably the, the busiest people in the wet shaving world. I mean, you can uh, you can go on their site for hours, just you know, and you can keep finding new stuff. It's just insane, like the amount of stuff they have. Um, you know, they got everything from like everything from shave soap and aftershave to like wall clocks and towels. Um, they got a cool brush cleaning soap that I just got, which is. It's kind of nice because you don't have to like do the whole overnight like vinegar thing. You could just rub your brush on the soap for a while and just clean it out. It comes with a comb. Um, yeah, it's just stuff like that. That's it's just a good example of you know why they're such an awesome company. And um, yeah, they just have way too many great scents. So I'm just really happy to be you know going over my favorites today. And if you guys have similar favorites or if you have a completely different list of favorites. Um, I would love to hear it. You know, I always like hearing what people think about different soaps and scents. And um, yeah, so it's really happy to be making this video today. So I guess let's uh, let's kick it off here. So first one on the list, this is Atomic Pumpkin and um, super, super sick label in there. Yeah, it, it kind of like the old label, the one, I think the one he released last year, it's got this guy in it, but he's, he's actually like flying through space and Frankly, I, I kind of like that label better. This one's cool, but I do kind of wish I had that old one. But um, hey, the scent makes up for it. I mean, it's all good. Um, I got a lot of fall scents here because they're my favorite and all the fall scents I ever in CK6. Um, I got CK1 based in here too, but yeah, the fall ones I just want to get in CK6 because uh, they are my favorite. So yeah, Atomic Pumpkin is really, really, really an awesome scent though. Um, so it's kind of funny when I first saw this like online I was like what like what does that smell like pumpkin pie I don't know and I remember watching uh I remember you know watching YouTube reviews of it there was one guy who I don't I haven't seen him in a while but um his name is uh his name is Silky Creamy on YouTube I'll link to his video in the description but yeah after uh it's kind of cool his thing was like he was like a big shape soap enthusiast so he would like get up close to the soap and show the texture and go over the scent and uh yeah he was just really in love with this one and the way he described it it made me want to pick it up so i did and i'm really happy i did because it's cool like i'm a huge bay rum fan and what this is is it's a bay rum that's steeped in like pumpkin spices and uh oh man it just it works so well it's somehow like i don't know how doug figured it out over at pea but somehow um Pumpkin is like the perfect addition to the notes in Bay Rum. It just works so, so good. And it's just like a really smooth, nice, refined, sweet Bay Rum. Not too gourmand. There's a little bit of gourmand, but it's just really a nice, pleasant men's fragrance, a nice Bay Rum, in my opinion. And it just really works. This is, I'm a huge Bay Rum fan, and this is my favorite Bay Rum. He just did such a good job on it. And, um, yeah, just really, really awesome. Um, that's uh, Atomic Pumpkin. All right, next up, another false scent here, CK6. Uh, we got Slater House 5, and I actually was lucky enough to get the holographic label on here. I guess I was one of the first 50 people. Um, and it's actually funny. I actually just recently discovered this scent um, last fall, and it turns out that after talking with, after messaging um, Doug, at, or Fran, one of them, uh, she was saying how th this is like one of their oldest soaps, and I had no idea. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look up YouTube videos of this, there's videos from like eight and nine years ago going over this soap, and um, I could see why it's, they keep bringing it back, because it's just an awesome, awesome, awesome scent. Um, so it's kind of cool. I used a lot of it already. It smells good. Um, I think what they were going for with this is like a New England cider mill. So you get the sweetness from the apple, and then you get like the, I guess like the, the mill is kind of made out of oak, so you get the oak there too. And then 
there's like a guy, picture like a guy outside smoking a cigar. You get a lot of that. Oh, man, the combination of these notes works so good. I think, I think the, the woody tobacco notes, they do a good job of rounding out the sweetness from the apple and cinnamon. Oh, it's just so well blended. Um, this is just one of my absolute favorite scents. Um, it smells so good. Yeah, it just takes me back to my childhood, like at the apple orchard. Um, yeah, I just like this scent a lot because I'm really into like apple cinnamon scents, but I don't like when they're too like overpowering like a candle. But this one, it's like the tobacco and wood, it's so well blended with it. And it like kind of takes the sweetness down a notch. And it's, oh man, it's just so, so good. Yeah, Cider House 5 is an absolute banger from PAA. I do, do love this scent a lot. And this is another one where I kind of wish I had the old label. This label's cool and all, but um, the old one, it just kind of, it was like red and black and it just kind of had like the black tree branches with like an apple. And I kind of like the minimal aspect of that label, but this one's definitely cool too. Um, yeah, the old label, there's a guy on YouTube, I think his name is Shaving with Rich. And um, one of the reviews he did of this soap was like the version from a couple years ago and it's got that old label. Um, so I'll be sure to link to his video in this so you can see that old label. But yeah, awesome scent, Cider House 5. Really, really awesome. Um, clown Fruit. Got Clown Fruit up next. And this is my last um, soap that I have in CK6. I just wanted to get the fall ones in CK6 for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's, it's cool having a mix of the his uh, old and new base. But yeah, so Clown Fruit is um, yeah really cool label in there too. Yeah, I remember watching, um, I think it was IMCDB's video. Uh, I remember seeing this in the PEA site and I just immediately went to see reviews of it on YouTube because it looked interesting. And he mentioned that it had like a root beer thing going on. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, I kind of like root beer. So I picked it up. And um, to be honest with you, at first, when I first took a whiff of this, I, it wasn't my favorite. Like, I didn't really know what to make of it. I mean, there's, there's some sweetness going on. But then there's also like a, almost like a talky barber thing going on too. And like, I think it just kind of confused me. I didn't really know what to make of it. But I tell you what though, I mean, after using this a lot, you know, and after applying the splash a few times, it just really grew in me. And now I'm just in love with the scent. Um, yeah, it's just like a now, nice talky bubble gum type thing. And it's just, it just, it's just a really pleasant, sweet scent. Um, and it's kind of funny, the, the other day at work, I wasn't even wearing this or anything. I was just craving smelling clown fruit. Like I couldn't wait to come home and just smell the aftershave. Um, it's just a really, really unique scent, really pleasant, sweet bubblegum type barber talc type scent. Um, yeah, it just works. It's cool. And it, it will remind you of kind of Halloween when you smell it. I think from like the sweetness from like the, the gum type thing, but, um, yeah, it just, it works. And, I like the scent a lot now, so I'm happy I have it. That's clown fruit. All right, and all the rest I have in his old uh, CK1 base, which is just, says the cocoa butter there. Um, good vibrations. This is one of my favorite barbershop scents ever. I mean, I know I know a lot of artisans make their own version of a barbershop scent. This is, this is like one of my favorite scents, period, out of, you know, any any soap out there in the market. I mean, it's just... It's it's so awesome because it um you got like that barber that powdery barbershop thing going on, but it's got like a beach twist to it. And oh man, it just the combination of those two, it just works so well. Like the beachy summer notes, I think there's some spring blossoms in here, there's some some lavender, and I think that combined with the classic barbershop feel, like the powdery thing. Oh man, it just it works so good. It works so good. Like imagine getting walking into a barber shop and like the Jersey boardwalk or something and just having the beach right there and the the air from the beach is just flying is just mixing in to the barber shop door and just yeah the combination of those two is just like it works so good like I knew this was going to be a good scent when I picked it up but I'm just I'm really in love with the scent um you know I love the beach I love yeah I love beach scents and I love barber shop scents and this is such a perfect combination of the two. And uh, I am gonna get the EDP of this. That is the next one on my list. Haven't gotten around to it, but I think this is probably gonna be the next one I get, so.
yeah, that's good vibrations. Next up, got a, this was actually my very first shaving soap ever. A couple years back, along with um, Sterling Red Delicious, which they actually don't make Red Delicious anymore from Sterling. But yeah, I got both of these at the same time. Um, yeah, I just, I just remember like seeing the label and I like pipe tobacco scents a lot. And I just, I wanted to pick it up and uh, I wasn't disappointed. And it's actually kind of interesting too, I think. It might be because this is Doug's favorite. I read this was his uh, favorite. And I think it's the only soap where he puts like an actual Phoenix, like mythical bird on there on the label. It's just like a nice little detail I noticed, but yeah, it's kind of neat. Um, but getting to the scent, look at that, it's almost gone. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I've had this for years and like, it's crazy how long the soap lasts. I mean, it's still going in there, but it's just about empty. Um, you just can't go wrong. Just like a really nice, pleasant cherry tobacco type scent. It kind of smells like you're in like a hookah lounge. It's really, it's not offensive. Not The cherry's not too strong. The tobacco's not too strong. It's really well blended, really awesome. Um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on the splash. And uh, yeah, when I restock on this, I'll probably get it in CK6 because it is one of my favorites. Um, yeah, if you're into tobacco scents, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong with Cavendish. That's a classic. And I could see why it's his favorite. Uh, you just, it's really, really, really a great scent. Um, all right, I got three more here. So this is actually one that just came out on his site recently, you know, for its spring release. This is Irish Springs. I actually got this last year um, because I just, I love that smell of Irish Spring bar soap. And I'm really, really, really darn happy I picked this up because I actually like this scent better than Irish Spring. I think it's more, I think it's more refined. Um, it's kind of interesting too, like in the soap, there's these little dark spots. You can see a lot of it on the bottom too. Um, if anyone, if anyone knows what that is, leave a comment. I, I really don't. Um, I'm not like an expert when it comes to these ingredients, but it is kind of cool. Like, I don't know if it's just dye in there to kind of give it like that grassy type feel, but maybe it's, uh, maybe it's like vetiver. I don't know. But it's nice because it's got that Irish Spring bar soap scent thing going on. But there's like a there's like a mintiness to it, like a slight mintiness that just really makes it really really pleasant. Like it's a nice fresh green scent. It smells like you just stepped out of the shower. Uh, one of my one of my favorite seasonal scents from him, hands down. Uh, like I said, I'm really big into the fall scents, but this one really really impressed me and. Um, you know, it's almost St. Patrick's Day, so I'm going to be using this a lot. That's Irish Springs. Really, really awesome. Um, this one always makes me really sad. He's, he actually just recently got rid of this one. This is Garden of Bali. Um, I never expected him to get rid of it. I know a lot of people on YouTube, I know it's one of their favorites. Um, it's such an awesome scent, but I guess it just didn't sell that well, and it's kind of a bummer because... Uh, it's such a great, great, great scent. Um, I got a lot of soaps in my den, and my this is my girlfriend's favorite one, along with um, Ghost Town Barber from Chiseled Face, but this is like tied for first, and she just loves this one so much. And when I told her it was being discontinued, she was like, what? Like, how could they discontinue that? It's like one of the best scents ever. But like I said, I think it's just the nature of the business. It didn't sell that well, but it's kind of a bummer. But man, like the scent on this is... It's like, it's a very, very, very realistic. It's it's as if you were, you're standing like right in the middle of a Southeast Asian garden, like a beachy type garden. You get the greenness from the bamboo. You get a little bit of sea spray in there. Um, yeah, like if you've ever gone to like, um, if you've ever, you know, been in the jungle or been to like a big public garden type place, it just smells like you're standing in the middle of it. It's very, very real. Nothing synthetic about it, just um, just a very natural smelling, you know, tropical garden scent. And it's just so beautiful. Um, yeah, luckily I still have a lot of soap and a lot of aftershave of this. But, man, I maybe they'll bring it back at some point. I don't know. But um, it's one of the last ones I would expect him to discontinue. But I guess if people weren't buying it, then that's just how it goes. So, oh well. All right, last but not least, we got the beach here. Um, yeah, recently I did a review comparing this to uh, Shore from Declaration Grooming. Um, and I mentioned that if you're, if you're like big into that classic 70s 
you know, copper tone, suntan lotion scent, this is perfect for you. Um, it's, it's just, it does a really, really good job of, you know, when you smell that suntan lotion, it just good, does a good job of taking you to that perfect beach. Um, he didn't list any scent notes on the website for this, but yeah, he said it's kind of just supposed to give you that vibe of the beach, like the ozone. And then you get some saltiness from the water. And then he said like some sweetness from like an ice cream truck. <laughs> But uh, yeah, funny description in here. But yeah, if you're into that suntan lotion scent, it's just um, it's just really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I think uh, it does a good job of taking me, you know, back to the beach when I was a kid. We used to go to the New England beaches a lot, like Martha's Vineyard. And I just remember, you know, before going in the water and applying that sunscreen, that's it just does a great job of taking me back to my childhood. Um, I think that's my favorite thing about this scent. And um yeah, this is, in my opinion, this is this is one of the best renditions of a beach that I've ever smelled. It's just, there's nothing gimmicky about it. It doesn't smell like a, like a, um, a beach candle in the store. It's just a really nice, really well-blended, pleasant beach scent. Um, yeah, and like I said, if you're into that suntan lotion thing, this is an absolute must. This, this is a gorgeous scent. Um... And yeah, I'm just really happy to have it. Great, great scent for the summer. So yeah, that's the beach. Really, really awesome. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for tuning into my favorite PA soaps today. Um, like I said, if you have similar favorites, let me know. Um, if you have different favorites, let me know too. I'm, I'm always curious. Um, and I enjoy watching your guys' videos too. And I hope you keep up the good work. And I appreciate the support on my video too. So Thanks again, guys, and uh, take care.